Hey guys, it's Julie with Mahalo.com and today we're going to talk about adding or subtracting mixed numbers. Now in this case it happens to be subtraction, but all the rules are the same if it were an addition problem. So um, let's start with a way that you can do it to where you can do these problems the same way every time and not get it wrong. For example, some people think that you can just do 3 minus 2 and get 1 and then do 1 third minus 1 fourth and get whatever that fraction is. Now in this problem something like that would work but it won't work every single time. Because if this fraction is smaller than this one, you'll have to borrow from that whole number. So here's a way you can do it, and you do every problem the exact same way, and you're guaranteed to get it right. First, we need to turn these mixed numbers into just fractions. And we know how to do that by saying 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10 over the same denominator. And over here we have 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9 over the same denominator. Bring down our subtraction sign. We also know that the rules of adding or subtracting fractions is you have to have the exact same denominator. These aren't the exact same, so we need to get what's called a common denominator. So how do they become common? If they were 12. So how did I turn this 3 into a 12? I multiplied it by 4. And remember, what you do to the bottom, you need to do to the top. So we're going to multiply that times 4. 4 times 10 is 40. What did we do over here? How did this 4 become a 12? Well, we multiplied it by 3. 4 times 3 is 12, and 9 times 3 is 27. So now we have two fractions with a common denominator, so now we can subtract. And you remember that the rules of adding or subtracting fractions is you leave the denominator the same, and you just subtract or add the top. So in this case, we're going to subtract. So 40 minus 27 is 13. And we also know how to turn a fraction into a mixed number. So this 13 would reduce to 1 and 1 over 12. And that's how you add or subtract mixed numbers. Thanks for learning with me today. If you liked what you saw and would like more information about related topics, click on the links below. And if you have specific problems or requests, email them to requests at mahalo.com. See you next time.